Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an education LMS or a course selling website using WordPress, just like Udemy and Skillshare, where you can sell courses or you can create a complete marketplace website where people can register as lecturer, as instructor, and they can sell their courses. And you will get a commission based on each sale. And we will be using Educate WordPress theme. And the reason for choosing this theme, as you can see, this has 10 plus demos available for the homepage only. And it is compatible with LearnPress and Tutor LMS. Both of these are the popular plugins for creating an LMS website. If you switch to LearnPress, you can see we have the same domains available. And if you scroll down, these are some course layouts. So this is how you can display your courses. This is one of the demo. And if you switch to this one, you can see a grid layout and so on with all the filters. We will see these layouts later in this video. Then this is compatible with Elementor which is the most popular page builder for WordPress and it have 250 plus custom elements for Elementor that you can use just by drag and drop without any code. And this is the single course layout you can see this is just like Udemy where you can open any course you can watch a overview video of that course and then you can decide that if you want to buy that course or not. Then we have WooCommerce integration, so obviously we will sell courses using WooCommerce which is a free solution for WordPress. And again this is tutorial LMS friendly and LearnPress integration is also there. And you can see you will get a bundle of premium LearnPress add-ons when you buy Educate WordPress theme. So with this theme you will also get LearnPress add-ons and all these plugins like tutorial LMS, LearnPress and so on. These plugins will come in bundles so you can update these using the theme update. And some features are that you can import the demo with one click, drag and drop page builder like Elementor, SEO optimized, fully customizable and so on. Now I will show you an overview of this theme and then we'll show you how you can get this theme and how you can set up this theme. Then you can customize this theme by watching my previous videos about Elementor and WordPress. So let's scroll to the top demos and you can see we have these 10 demos available so you can choose the demo that you need. Let's say I want to use this one, so let's click on this. So you can see the website is looking very nice. We have a top bar with some contact details and social icons. Then we have a logo and the main menu. And this is very special mega menu. You can see we have all the layouts, the courses layouts. So you can explore all of these to see which one view will suit your website. These are some categories, dashboard pages. Then we have blog pages, shop page, and basically this is a mega menu then we have a search bar cart icon and login and everything you see on this page including the header is customizable with elementor so you can customize this based on your need you can display the login only for the new visitor or only for the non-logged visitors then we have the top section which is the hero section we have this title a subtitle and a search bar then we have some icon boxes and these are our popular courses, these are some tabs, then we have a call to action and followed by a board section where you can display more about your website. These are upcoming events, so if you want you can also display some events here, this is basically a slider. Then we have top categories, so here you can display your courses categories. And these are the top instructors. Here you can display instructor profiles. And this has become an instructor. So if someone want to be an instructor, they can click on apply now. And become a student. So this will display a student application form. And then we have some logos and a footer. And then you can customize this theme based on your needs. Like you can update the logo, you can update the text, the images. And obviously you can display your own courses. Now this is dependent on you that if you want you can create a single admin website like only admin will be able to sell courses or you can create a marketplace where everyone can register as instructor and can sell their courses. So it's up to you. Now let's see how we can get this theme and how we can set this up. So to get this theme you can just go to the link in the description which will take you to this page. Here you can see to create online course education office theme and this is the price. And here you can learn more about this theme also. So to get this theme you can just click on add to cart. And item added to your cart you can just go to checkout. 
by the way if you don't have a theme forest account you can sign up for free and here you can select your payment method so you can pay with visa mastercard paypal or skrill so let me quickly fill up these details and we'll click pay securely and after processing the payments you can see payment complete and now i can go to downloads page to download this theme or if i scroll down here i'll find that theme so i can download this and this will start downloading and in the meanwhile we can also download its purchase code so for that we will go to downloads page and uh, in the front of this theme we will click on download arrow and we'll click on license certificate and purchase code we will need this code to activate our theme on our domain now we have downloaded both the purchase code and the theme now we just need to upload this to our wordface and now to create any type of website either there is an education website a business website an e-commerce website you will need to have a domain name and hosting basically domain name is your website name like the url of your website if someone type that url they will be landed on your website and hosting is an online storage where all your website files will be stored where you can manage your domain your ssl your databases file manager and so on now there are multiple platforms that give you hosting and domain the one I would suggest is hostinger.com so you can just follow the link in the description which is this one this will take you to this page and here you can choose a hosting based on your need like if you need a web hosting you can choose this one you can choose website builder, cloud hosting, wordface hosting and hosting for professionals as we are creating a wordface website so we can choose wordface hosting this will take you to this page wordface hosting built for speed and you can scroll down and you will see the prices this is very reliable and affordable as you can see 2 USD per month you can get a domain and hosting now this is the first plan this is the second one and these plans you can see more features of each plan here so in the first plan you can only host one website you will get this much storage and so on the one I would recommend is to at least choose this one because you will get a free domain with this one and also a free SSL is included SSL is basically your website security which is this lock icon and uh, this make your website secure and trustworthy and you can only add e-commerce or online selling if you have SSL enabled so select any of these plans based on your need then click on add to cart and this will take you to cart page where you can scroll down and you can get this domain and hosting for 1 month, 12 months, or uh, 24 or 48 now I recommend you to choose 48 because you are getting a huge discount here then you can create an account or you can just sign up using your Facebook or Gmail. Select your payment method and this is the total price. So in just 143 USD you will get this domain and hosting for 4 years. So after getting this hosting you can just install Wordface on your hosting. I already have a video about how you can set up Wordface on hosting and hosting. And then you can log into your Wordface dashboard which will look like this. And this is a fresh installation of Wordface where you can see we don't have any plugins installed, we have the default Wordface theme. Now in order to get that look and the complete functionality of the website we will have to upload our own theme. So let's go to appearance, themes, here we will click add new, upload theme and here we can choose the theme that we just downloaded but before that we will have to extract that. So let's go to our theme, we'll open this and you will get all these files so you can upload the main theme and the child theme let's extract these to desktop now we will choose file and we'll select the main theme open and install now now you can go with the main theme you can go ahead and activate this and then you can import the demo content but if you want to make changes to the code and the theme files i'll recommend you to use the child theme because your changes will be saved even after updating the theme so we will go to themes, we will add new, upload theme, choose file and this time we will choose the child theme. Then install now and our main theme is already installed, we can go ahead and activate this. And just like any other premium theme you will get this notice to install some plugins to run this theme and to get all the functionalities. So let's click on begin installing plugins, let's select all. We'll choose install and apply. And you can see all plugins are installed. You can scroll down and you can go back to plugin installer. Let's select all and this time we'll choose activate. And that's it. Now all plugins are activated. We can go back to our dashboard. 
and here you can see this notice your store doesn't appear to be using a secure connection and this is because we don't have SSL installed as you can see here but this is a temporary domain not the actual so I'll fix this later let's ignore this and now if I visit this website in a new tab you can see there is nothing special we just have a logo and nothing found now let's see how we can get all these content and then how we can customize these so for that you can go back to our dashboard and under appearance click on import demo data and here you can scroll down and you can see this is for learn phrase and this is for tutorial image and you can also switch these over here so if you need to have learn phrase you can use this one if you want to go with tutorial image you can use this one both of these have the same functionalities and uh, the look you can choose any of these so let's choose tutorial image and we will click on import demo and this plugin will suggest to some plugins wb forms so this is for creating forms this is for the seo but you can ignore these scroll down and click on continue import and this will start importing demo content this will be dependent on your internet speed and your hosting speed so let's wait for this import complete congrats your demo was imported successfully and that's it now let's check our website again so i'll just refresh this and you can see we get all the data so the logo explore basically these are the categories we have all the home pages the courses and the menu cart icon and the user dashboard and this is the home page one you can go with this one or you can use any of the demos and as i showed you home 2 so this is the home page 2 and we can use this as our home page also and that's it so this is how you can get and set up this theme now let me quickly show you that how you can add a course and how people can sign up and how students can come on your website so for that you can go to your dashboard and as we used tutor elements so we can go to tutor elements and here you can see all the courses and all of these are published that you see on the website if you want you can edit any of these courses by clicking edit and if you don't need these courses you can select all and you can delete these and you can also create a new course by clicking add new and here you can write a course title description and in the journal you can set maximum students for this course difficulty level so intermediate beginner site expert and if you enable public course then there will be no enrollment required you can also enable question and answer section and you can choose a course type to be paid or free you can add course content here what you will learn with this course and so on this is the duration of the course so all of these are dependent on you here you can add videos also and then you can just select a category you can create new categories you can add new tags and you can publish the course i'm not going in much detail i'm going to just an overview of the theme and now if you notice this is a marketplace website where people can come log in and they can register but if you want to make this a one person website like only admin can sell courses so for that you can go to your dashboard again go to tutorial ms and go to settings so basically these are the settings for the tutorial ms and under general you can set dashboard pages you can select terms and condition page also so for that you can create a page and you can select that as your terms and condition page and this is the one enable marketplace so if you enable this then people will come and they can register as instructor and can upload their courses if you don't need this functionality you can just disable this and then this is allow instructor to publish course but we have disabled instructors so we can disable this also become an instructor button we can also disable this then save changes now we have disabled marketplace so only admin can sell courses and if you go to course here you can do settings for the course so you can set up the course visibility course content access content summary and so on so you can enable and disable these based on your needs to show you quickly you can see course visibility student must be logged in to view course so this is not recommended because student can see the course but they can see the content only after login the course content access so you can also extract this this is the summary so student can see the summary of the course a video or some description before taking that course then you can go to monetization that how you can make money with this website so the e-commerce engine is obviously e-commerce you don't have any other option 
and automatically complete WooCommerce orders. You can also enable and disable this, enable revenue sharing. So if you enable marketplace on your website, you will split the earning with that instructor. And this is the sharing percentage. So instructor will get 80% and admin will take 20%. But we don't have that functionalities. You can set this up based on your need. Enable guest mode. You don't want to enable guest mode here. This is the fee. So you can see fees are charged from entire sale account. The remaining amount will be divided among the admin and the instructor. And this is withdraw. So here you can set minimum amount for the withdraw, minimum days before the withdraw, and so on. And for the withdraw, we have bank transfer, e check, and PayPal option. Then you can go to design. And here you can design the courses. So you can see columns for row. We have three. Let me show you. And here you can see we have three column layout. If you want, you can increase and decrease the number of columns here. And this is the course filter. So again, we have this course filter. You can go to specific category, specific level, and by price. And prepare course filters. So you can enable keyword search, category, tags, and so on that you can see here. And this is the instructor layout. So you can choose any of these layouts. And this is the profile page for instructor. This is the profile page for the student. You can choose any of these layouts. And these are some page features that you can enable and disable. So if you don't need any of these, you can just disable that. This is the color scheme. So here you can choose a specific color scheme here or you can create your own by clicking here and you can put your own colors. And video player. So use tutor player video from YouTube or from Vimeo. So you can enable and disable these also. And finally, you can go to advanced settings where you can do these requirement settings. So this is a Gutenberg editor, but I will recommend you to use Elementor and hide course products on shop page. So if you are selling any other products, then you can display them on the shop page and your course and your courses will not be shown on the shop page. And you can select a course archive page, instructor page, student registration page and so on. So this was some quick settings in this plugin that you can customize based on your needs. And this was how you can create a course selling website using WordPress or a marketplace website where people can sell courses. Now if you want to learn how you can customize the theme, the look using Elementor, you can just go to my channel. I have lots of videos about WordPress and Elementor and you will be able to learn how you can work with Elementor. And still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.